Welcome to the Ben Wood Johnson Podcast. You can visit Dr. Johnson's blog at benwoodpost.com. Dr. Johnson's works can be found at drbenwoodjohnson.com. You can also support Dr. Johnson on Patreon, the link to which is in the description. Hello and welcome to the Benwood Johnson Podcast. Uh, This is our first podcast. Uh, Today is May the 20th, 2018, podcast number one. Uh, A few things I have to get out of the way, uh, as should be evident by now, there is some music uh, playing in the background uh, in this podcast. Uh, It is going to be the same for subsequent podcasts. Um, All my podcasts will have some music playing in the background. Let me know if this is uh, a distraction, if this is an impediment to sort of get into the crux of the idea that I am trying to share here. So let me know if this is a problem. Um, So if you you find the music somewhat distracting, so let me know. I I will make sure that uh, I get uh, get rid of this in in, in subsequent uh, podcast. Uh, Today we're going to be talking about technology. Uh, It is a six-part series where uh, I introduce the concept in terms of what is technology. Uh, and I sort of talk about the purpose of technology. I examine the the degree to which technology is an illusion in society, how society is restricting technology, and and how technology is also limiting uh, society. And we're going to talk about the role of nature uh, in technology. So this is the first installment, uh, and it sort of introduces the topic. So again, it is a pre-recorded session, so it's going to start on its own. So without further ado, let's get to it. fundamental question one must ask is technology. What is technology? And within the context of the development of, of humanity, with the progress, with the advancements of humanity, what is technology? Now, technology, the term itself, is not something that was created to explain certain things in, 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 in society that were like invented by man, okay? Technology in itself is the notion of having or possessing techniques. And the word techniques or technique in French is a word that implies uh, what is also known in French as a savoir-faire. And this word in and of itself is a word that explains certain conduct, certain behavior in terms of how the entity that is within nature can interact within his or her or its nature. So in, in other words, nature in it of itself has obstacles for the human beings or the entity within nature, okay? But those obstacles are not insurmountable. In other words, these obstacles are not challenging to a point where one can never overcome them. Okay? And within the context of survival, every individual 
every entity within nature is equipped with the savoir faire to deal with nature or to deal with the elements of nature. That savoir faire, which is unique to the individual, is what nature considers as technique. For example, every human being has to be able to exist. And the existence of the human being as an entity is incumbent upon his or her capacity to subsist. And his or her capacity to subsist depends on the tools and techniques that he uses to subsist. Okay? And that's when technology becomes an important tool, an important element in the being in itself. Because being, as we've talked about before, requires two elements. Being requires time and a location. There has to be a time and a space, geography and, and, and time. But that's what the being is. But once you are, you have to exist. And existing is this constance between subsisting and being. That's what existing is. Because existing is in the middle between subsisting and being. So when you are, you are. But you can only exist if you subsist. But in order to subsist, nature gives you an element. As I said, every human being is equipped with certain tools. Now, those tools are not re- are not inherent in the individual. In other words, the individual does not have the tool within him or herself. Those tools are readily available, but the individual has to come up with them. The individual has to find a technique, a savoir faire, to discover those tools. Because those tools are there. But the individual has to come up with them. Okay? So in that sense, the whole notion of technique implies that every individual has the capacity to develop techniques to subsist. For example, one of the conditions for subsistence is within the context of human beings is the capacity to eat. Now I'm sure the same condition exists for other entities within nature. The lion has to eat. Okay? The giraffe has to eat. The tiger has to eat. The muskrat has to eat. The ant has to eat. Okay? So every entity, the flower has to eat, the bees has to eat, have to eat. So so every entity within nature has to subsist. And that subsistence is incumbent upon the tools and the techniques. Because you cannot have tools without techniques. And you cannot have techniques without tools. So tools leads to techniques or techniques leads to tools. This, uh, this relationship between those two elements are important to understand. Because that's what technology is going to come down to. Technology is the capacity to use the tools within a certain techniques and the capacity to develop techniques with a certain tool. So by definition, a technology is incumbent, is incumbent upon two elements. Tools and technique. And once you have a tool and you have the technique to create the tool or to make the tool work or to, um, to, to advance the tool, then you have technology. Technology in and of itself is something that over time human beings have developed to subsist. And technology, I would say, is the minimum requirements for subsistence. There cannot be any subsistence unless there are technologies to sustain the existence of the beings that are there. Okay? That are required to subsist. The human being has to eat. And if a human being 
has to eat. He has to eat something that he can manage. Okay? Human beings cannot eat trees. That doesn't necessarily mean that they could not eat trees naturally. It's just we don't have the tools to eat trees. We do not have the techniques to eat trees. But if we are to eat something in nature, we have to develop the technique, the tools to eat it. Okay? And as we develop those tools and techniques, we become technologically advanced. Because every generation finds a better way to improve a tool. To improve a technique that was there before them. There was a time when people used bow, arrows to kill animals to survive. There was a time people used rocks as stone to cook. But those tools and techniques have evolved. People don't use arrows. Most of the time people use guns. These are technologies. But these technologies are not alien to nature. These technologies were not invented by man. Because these technologies were there. The tools were there. The elements were there for the tools. Men simply used or found techniques to develop the tools. And the tools allow man to discover the right technique, to improve the right technique, to make this the tool better. As I say, there's a relationship between what we do and how we do. If we don't know how to do, we don't we, we cannot do. What we can do is incumbent upon what we can do. And what we can do is incumbent upon what is available to us to do. In other words, you're always back to your nature. What is possible within your nature? Does your nature allow you to do this? Is it possible naturally for you to do this? It always comes down to that. What is allowed within your com- comfort of your nature? And once you have discovered what is allowed, once you have discovered what you can do, then you become this fluid entity within nature. Well, you can subsist. You can be in nature. You can exist. Because you have the tools to exist. You have the techniques, the know-how to exist. The savoir-faire to exist. These are important concepts we have to take into account. <laughs>